Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day and welcome back to Community Group. If you're just starting out this semester, welcome. I'm Pastor Ranjo, this is your Community Group video, and wherever you're watching, whether at home in preparation or at group, thank you so much for being part of our community. So this Sunday we started a new sermon series on Hebrews called Jesus is Greater Than. For more on Sunday's sermon, here's Dylan with your 90 second sermon recap. Hello everyone, my name is Dylan. I'm one of the young adult leaders here at GCF and I'm here to do this week's 90 second sermon recap. This week, Jason talked about angels. We're doing the series, uh, Jesus is greater than blank. And this week, that blank is filled with angels. Jason talked about how easily we let our attention get distracted from what we should be focused on. Um, as soon as the newer, the bigger, the better thing comes along, we tend to, our attention tends to drift to that new thing. Now, the scripture that he focused on was the book of Hebrews, which the people to whom that book was written, they, their attention tended to gravitate towards angels who are really impressive creatures, uh, or the Old Testament law, or the sacrificial system, anything uh, related to Hebrew religion and culture. Now, these things are all good things. They're not bad things in and of themselves but they made them ultimate things. And that's kind of where they went wrong. While Jesus is not as flashy or as impressive as an angel with six wings standing right next to him, um, Jesus is the one through whom true salvation came. Uh, so Jason's challenge to us was to give our attention to the greatest, not, not just the most impressive thing on the surface, but the truly greatest thing, which is Jesus. Uh, and he used this, this idea of a color expert who was able to pick up on these color tones in white paint um, to show how the more you focus on something, the more you give your attention to something, the more nuances, the more beauty you are able to appreciate in it. And so the more and more that we give our attention to Jesus, the more we'll pick up on the beauty and magnificence of the Son of God that was given for us. Great job, Dylan. So, on Sunday, Pastor Jason started his sermon talking about encounters people have had with angels. And I think, I'm, I'm willing to bet that in your group there are one or two people who have had some sort of supernatural encounter. And it may not be with angels. God uses a number of ways to reveal himself to us, to show us his glory. So your question for today is, have you ever had a supernatural experience? Go ahead and take 10 to 15 minutes and share some stories. So part of the passage that we studied on Sunday was chapter one, verses one to four. Would you read that together as a group and then spend maybe five minutes just meditating on it personally and then share some thoughts that you have about the passage? What stands out to you? It could be a question you have or it could be just some thought about God that kind of popped into your head after you read the passage. Go ahead and just um, reflect on the passage together. Finally, we ended the sermon with the question, what distracts you from seeing Jesus? And that's a good question for us to process and group together. So go ahead and um, share that with the group. What distracts you the most from seeing, really encountering and seeing Jesus for who he is? And let that question lead into a time of prayer, asking God to reveal himself in deeper ways in this new year in your life. That's it for today. God bless. Have a great time.